Currently, the National Drugs Authority is on a countrywide crackdown to clean up all pharmacies, drug shops and clinics of stolen government drugs and medical equipment. In the process, a number of outlets that don't meet the standard requirements stipulated by the National Drug Policy Act have also been shut down. In the Lango sub-region was approximately 200 million. These kind of surprise uh, operations are, are going to continue countrywide to ensure that we get rid of wrong people handling drugs, uh, unlicensed outlets uh, selling drugs in poor uh, dispensing environments. The operation has so far led to recoveries of drugs and medical equipment to a tune of over 2 billion shillings. Very unfortunate because every medicine that you take away from a health facility as a health worker, someone will die. And when that someone dies, it means their blood is on your head. According to Aching, gaps in the current National Drug Act are partly to blame for the continued theft of government drugs around the country. The National Drug Authority Act is weak. It has been undergoing amendments and currently it is before cabinet for more amendments and for inclusion of some punitive measures to curb drug theft. We are hoping that we can fast track it. Reports from the National Drug Authority indicate that about 30% of drugs disbursed from the national medical stores are stolen from government health facilities. We know it is a huge, huge vice and there are many people who are connected. It is not difficult to bust the racket, but with the communities on our side, seeing that these medicines are actually meant for them, if they could provide the information, it would help us to fight this vice. It still remains a big concern to authorities as to how the culprits managed to beat security systems set out to stop drug theft right from the national medical stores to the final consumer. We witness the delivery to our stores and then we witness the disbursement of the drugs to, respective, to the respective health centers. But the truth of the matter is it beats our understanding that our own medical personnel, our physicians, have mastered the art of stealing from the sick. It was also expected that the introduction of batch numbers on all drugs released by the national medical stores to various health facilities would curb drug theft. However, this seems to be far from reality. We have been told that uh, there is a way we can track the batch numbers, because drugs come when the the unknown where they are going exactly. In addition to the already existing measures, Acheng notes that the government is also set to introduce new and tighter security measures to monitor drugs distributed to districts. We are now going ahead uh, to try as much as possible to digitize even receipt of medicines up to the last beneficiary. Reports indicate that malaria drugs and ARVs are the most stolen government drugs in Uganda. Most of them, however, end up in either private clinics, drug shops, pharmacies, or neighboring countries. Nelson Omoya, NTV.